everybody good morning um this is another day um <laughs> we are here back in close to thunder bay in kakabeka falls and we just woke up from our sleep uh had a pretty good nice sleep in kakabeka and the campsite that we were at was pretty nice yeah we're just gonna wash up get ready uh probably eat something and just uh see what we do next so we just got done uh, washing up, showering. Um, I would say the water here is really nice. Um, it's almost like they just use like fresh water somewhere, I think probably from Superior or something, because it just doesn't have any of that like iron, yellow, that nasty, you know, like that metal smell. We go to a usual campsite. We have some pastries from yesterday that we got from home and bought some 2% milk, gonna probably eat it with that. Just eat some real quick and head to the city, see what we can do there. Save our stomach for some lunch over there. So the tentative plan is to probably see Fort Williams and Mount McKay since they're right next to each other. Here's Brie, but no makeup. Sunscreen. So it was pretty chilly last night. Uh, I think it was about 50 some degrees. And today, hopefully I can find a thicker hoodie uh, to stay warmer. Luckily I brought sweats. Uh, in Thunder Bay, it's averaging around 70 high, which I mean, I love 70s, but the low gets down to 50s and it gets a little chilly at night. So we gotta make sure that we are warm at every night. And so now it's time for quick breakfast here and we'll probably head out. We're gonna go see the falls. It's right in the front where we came into the camp. So come, let's go see. So this is Kakabeka Falls and it looks pretty amazing. We thought it wasn't we thought it wasn't gonna be as big and tall, but it's the second tallest fall in Ontario and it's a very cool sight to come to when you're visiting Thunder Bay. It's only like 15-20 minutes away out west. So always uh, come to check this out for sure. Almost like we're kind of like in Iceland, kinda has that feel, that vibe. What do you think, Bree? It's cool. Yeah? Have to come and check it out. If you get lucky, you spot uh, some little bit of rainbow down there. We got some rice and then singing got the chili chicken the chili chicken so oh it's a lot they give you a lot oh it smells so good with the rice the onion mmm mmm it's really good wow that's a tomato taste and then it has the onion of course and then all this all the spice and seasoning the chicken is so tender this is a really big chunk of chicken I'm gonna try to chew it mm. Mm -hmm. mm. so good mm. we got butter chicken it's so much I didn't expect them to give me so much. I'm pour some into my rice. I usually like to order butter chicken. Singi usually like Singi usually order chili chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Mmm. Mmm. So perfect. I can taste the butter. I can taste all the spice. It's a. It's not too salty. It's just perfect. Perfect. Mm. We're just enjoying such a great view. Right now, we're looking towards um, Sleeping Giant uh, State Park. 
and sleeping giant just looks crazy it's a huge little it's like a huge mound cliff that's facing the superior which we'll probably go there tomorrow and see what the hype is about and then to the left of us is thunder bay itself the city right behind us is actually mount mckay we might hike up there it's about a 30 minutes hike from here from the parking lot or we just might just call it here and you know just we already see a really good view i don't know if we can get any better up there but we'll see how we feel after this meal so after we just got done eating uh we said uh let's not do the hike let's relax because it looks like a pretty tough hike a moderate hike at least all the way up uh probably would take like 40 minutes for us maybe so we're just like let's go to fort williams historical park and check out the museum there right now we're just driving down from the mountain and just uh, heading there but i think we might go get some gas for us because here the gas is about 30 to 40 canadian cents cheaper than the city so and it's really it's only like 10 minutes away from the city so i would say it's a smarter deal to get down here it's way cheaper comes with these nice thick guard hairs. So every one of these guard hairs is plucked away until you get a really nice down beaver. Hair. Now this is very soft. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for these hats. So after that, you'd shave it off mm -hmm. and then it'd usually be put into a steamer or a compressor. And lots of these compressed, usually with mercury. It's actually where the term Mad Hatter comes from. Mm -hmm. You'd be compressing these nice hats. And these hats are actually about the modern equivalent one thousand dollars so they're very expensive and very uh wow very pristine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you thank very you welcome. Mm -hmm. wow yeah. job or man has to get a job right yeah. he will have to come in and try to see if he can look up to yeah so for voyager for portages which is where they're off their canoes and now they're walking on land each each voyager would need at least um two fur packs. Mm -hmm. So a fur pack is 90 pounds. Mm -hmm. It's a properly weighted one. You can mm -hmm. try to put it on if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> I probably can. Very, very heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, oh my. I mean, not the second one, but this one. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh my. This is very heavy. Yeah. So two of these mm -hmm. to get the job. Yeah, so that's the one on you too. And sometimes a portage would even be a kilometer long. Okay, not too bad. But <laughs> two of these is gonna be really heavy. Two of them to get a job. This is the great hall, the grand hall. Uh, there's just a few apartments here for the most important people of the company. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Archibald Norman McLeod's room. Uh, mm -hmm. And so he's the magistrate, the lawmaker of oh, the company. Okay. A man named, yes, Lord Selkirk. Mm -hmm. uh, he led a couple of soldiers from the Hudson's Bay Company into Fort William, which is not a military fort, and so we have no power to really stop them or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, they marched in, they arrested a bunch of partners, uh, they disrupted everything. And that occupation is actually the reason we're able to rebuild Fort William. It's a candle uh, hanging rack. Mm -hmm. So when you're making candles and you're dipping them, uh, you have to hang them up in between dips and when you're finished to harden again. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is basically what that's for. 
and it's uh, designed basically so you can um, you can either set it on a table like like this, and then uh, you can set your height of each one by moving this. Oh. You can take them off completely even if you want it, and uh, you can set the angles so if they're really long. And then uh, you can also hang it. Mm -hmm. This now can also be a hanger as well. You can oh, wow. Yeah. Hold it, and you press down and start turning. Just, just start turning. Yeah. Oh, uh, the other way. This there you go. Yeah. So this one's a bit smaller diameter than it needs to be. Uh -huh. but you can hear it cutting threads. Oh, yeah. This one's a little bit too small for the threading okay. die, so it's not, it's not catching. Yeah. But, um... I see it. Yeah, you can see yeah. the lines there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Yeah, the okay. carpenter's job is building and maintaining most of the wood and stuff in the fort. Okay. If okay. I were to make a, a container like that and you poured a liquid in it, uh, you would find out <laughs> yeah. very fast that it's <laughs> needed for that. So you do a better job at building a chair and. <laughs> yeah, building a chair, tables. Yeah. Okay. And you can make joints as a carpenter tight enough okay. uh, to hold liquid. So, okay. for example, this table, you can see there's a joint here, but yeah. you can barely see that there's actually yeah. a joint. So, that was pretty cool. Um, Fort Williams was a pretty interesting place. The ex exhibition slash museum. The people who worked here who were pretty much uh, acting as uh, people from the fort itself from way back in the 1800s, settlers, tradesmen, basically, and it's really nice, um, very uh, informed, I would say, guys, and do a really good job explaining stuff, so I would definitely recommend coming here, it's really awesome, it's about like 12 bucks to get in for adults, so not to it's like totally worth it for if I'm going to a museum where we usually pay like 15 to 20 to just get in to see like art. This is a very interactive, immersive um, tour slash uh, exhibition. So, got to come here. It's only 10 to 15 minutes away from Thunder Bay. Yeah, right by it. So, Bree's over here. Bree, what do you think? It's really cool. Yeah? Yeah. It's really <laughs> cool. We're at Marina Park in Thunder Bay. It's pretty nice, not too big, but a uh, nice place to walk around, picnic. The side of the park is dedicated to uh, one of the Tai Chi masters who came here back in 1990s, I believe. And so they created all these monuments and like statues and uh, a ground uh, pavement that's made of the yin yang sign. And it's right by the water, it's really nice. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us on another episode with The Excursion Couple. If you like our content, please hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe. We will see you next time on day four of Thunder Bay.